Hey guys, tonight we're driving the 2022 BMW M240i xDrive Coupe. We're going to show you how this car looks at night, show you the headlight performance, ambient lighting, all the good stuff we usually do during a POV night drive. First, let's walk you around this real quick, and then we'll hit the road. So we've got these cool active ambient lights. They'll flash when you open the door, flash red. You can change them to one of about six or seven different colors. We'll go through those in the menu in a minute. I've got these set to purple though because the exterior of this car is painted in Thunder Knight Metallic. BMW's new purple for this M240i. Taillights actually look pretty sharp in the dark at night. Not as big of a fan of them during the daytime. This has been a really fun car to drive all week. Awesome performance, really, really nicely made, nicely built fantastic driving dynamics for my full review hit the link in the top comment but uh we'll give you guys some final thoughts on what this has been like to live with this week too just i think bmw at some of their best from a driving dynamics perspective uh, they've really done a nice job developing this car it drives awesome it's excellent value about fifty-eight thousand dollars as tested just under 50 grand msrp starting price as of now the M240i is only available in all-wheel drive, but they'll probably be coming out with a rear-wheel drive version here pretty soon. And we have yet to see the new BMW M2, which I'm very excited for. At night, reverse camera performance seems pretty good. We've got a lot of snow on ours today, so uh, we're not seeing the clearest picture. But let's go into our menu here and see what our ambient lighting options are for this interior. So if we go into settings, interior lighting we have one of about four or five six different colors lilac blue white orange orange looks pretty sharp too and bronze let's go with lilac one of the few times where i actually think purple looks good as an ambient lighting color is when your car is painted in purple all right we're going to turn traction control off here because we've got a little bit of snow to play in nice and we'll go into sport individual mode which I have set to steering in comfort damping and comfort engine and sport plus and transmission we're gonna leave that in sport actually perfect all right off we go even enable carplay there On a set of Continental winter tires tonight. Fantastic grip in the snow. Combine that with the all-wheel drive system in this M240i. We have a whole lot of traction. This three liter turbocharged inline six puts its power down beautifully. The adaptive suspension has a pretty good amount of variability. We're set in comfort right now and ride quality is excellent definitely feel it stiffen up a little bit in sport and sport plus modes but as a daily driver I really like the suspension tuning here <laughs> this b58 sounds fantastic too get some subtle burbles from the exhaust on the overrun there bright and the automatic high beams look pretty good they're illuminating the road surface really well getting a lot of good visibility from these adaptive headlights we have easy controls for our cluster illumination that controls both the infotainment and the center display see out tonight we're gonna to take it easy on these entrance ramps a 
love the adjustability and configurability of this M240i. It's just engaging and exciting enough to maintain a certain level of entertainment, but it's not as brutal and harsh and doesn't beat you up as much as an M car does. It's a really nice balance that BMW has achieved with this new M240i. And it also feels very high quality. The 2 Series used to be a little bit of the more bargain basement BMW. The interior wasn't as nice quality as the rest of BMW's lineup, and it just didn't feel as nice as the 3 Series or the 4 Series. This M240i is definitely up there with some of the higher priced and higher option BMWs, even at close to $60,000. This feels as nice as a seventy dollars or $80,000 3 Series or 5 Series. I really do love this interior space. Again, for a better view of the interior, check out the POV Day Drive, our full review on this M240i. We'll have some more information and footage for you there. As a daily driver, this car's been really easy to live with. It's been fun, it's been entertaining. The tech is very nicely integrated. BMW's iDrive is, I think, best in the business, in the luxury space. The redundancy between having a touchscreen and the scroll wheel just makes it second nature to operate. Um, it's a really, really nice system to use, and uh, it's just made navigating through Apple CarPlay and the BMW menu system very easy and worry-free this week. Minimal distractions, uh, lots of physical controls and buttons for all of your quick access things, like your heated seats, your heated steering wheel, different settings, drive modes. It's all very easy to utilize and uh, get done what you need to do. CF 8-speed auto makes really nice shift decisions on its own, but it's also pretty fun to use the manual paddles. Not as responsive as an M car, but pretty darn close in my opinion. Love the torque from this engine. I don't really have too many complaints about this M240i. My only one is just kind of the looks are a bit controversial. This car first came out and I just thought that something wrong with the proportions. The exterior just doesn't look that great, especially in the rear three quarter view. But the more I've lived with it this week, it's grown on me a little bit. And seeing this car in person is definitely a different aesthetic than seeing it in photos. For some reason, the press photos just don't quite do it justice. And uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be in real life. So I've got to give BMW credit. You know, they're trying some different things with their designs these days. Not, not a lot of their cars look similar. Just their interiors are pretty much exactly the same. But the exterior is where they're having some fun. And that's the case with this M240i. The 2 Series has never been the most beautiful BMW. I would argue the M2 is, so hopefully the M2 is, keeps with that in this next generation. As it sits though, first impressions on this M240i have been fantastic. This is just such a nice blend of comfort, performance, and daily drivability. And for the price, I think this is just an excellent bargain too. Viewers with a keener eye will notice there is a check engine light on. No idea what that is. It just popped up one day. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. Performance doesn't seem to be hampered in any way, but just one of those things. Ran the codes, nothing really popped up, so I think I'll have to let BMW deal with it. As far as winter driving performance goes, this is a really nice car to drive in the snow. The rear biased all-wheel drive system in this car is fantastic. It's beautifully balanced. Kicks out the rear end just a little bit on corner exit, and then the front end power kicks in and straightens everything out. It's really fun, pretty entertaining. 
Steering's a little bit dead, but other than that, this is a very, very enjoyable car to drive. Um, a lot more fun can be had in something like this than the Audi's Quattro systems. It's just a little bit more rear bias than what everything else has. And I appreciate that BMW is doing that with their all-wheel drive systems. Um, add some winter tires. You've got enough ground clearance here for most daily driving scenarios. The short wheelbase makes us even better. The only con here is that these sidewalls are pretty thin with these larger wheels. You're either going to want to get that wheel and tire insurance or keep a really strong eye out for those bigger potholes. I know right now in Michigan it is terrible out. All right, guys, that's going to be a night drive on the new M240i X-Drive Coupe. Super fun car to drive and enjoy and live with this week. Um, I had a great time in this thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed both the videos that we put out on this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If not, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and take care. That's always cool with these transmission gear levers. If you have it in sport mode, you put it in a park, it'll automatically move over, which is pretty neat. All right. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Your owls look cool. Even the taillights look cool at night. It's just <sighs> during the day, not, not sold on the look. It's growing on me though, and it wouldn't deter me at all from buying this car. It drives so well, it makes up for the weird proportions in the back, I think.